Hi, this is Chris Terrell with Everyday VBA. Today we're going to be doing a a splash form. It's the solution to the challenge. This is uh, actually not that many lines of code. It's actually a pretty advanced challenge, but it's not uh, it's not incredibly difficult uh, from a coding standpoint. And it's a good intro to uh, creating uh, user forms, etc. So we're going to make a user form. A couple things right here. Um, I'm actually in the Visual Basic editor. Uh, Alt F11 gets you there. So I just came in here, clicked, added a user form. We can click right here. I'm going to, I'm just going to call this splash. And you'll notice when I hit enter, it's going to change it right there. So I hit enter, changes it right there. Now I don't want this to be called user form. Now that's going to be called caption. Caption is actually uh, the most common use when you're using forms for the name of what that object's called. So we're going to call this um, welcome. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to come in here. We're going to add a picture, which is this little icon here. I'm going to select that. It's going to highlight it. Now you can change your back color, etc. We do want to add a picture. I've got a quick one right here. It's got on my desktop. I found that. It's just my signature. So nothing super huge. Just going to put my signature right there. We're going to keep that as is. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on here. Okay, and that's going to go to user form click. Now we don't necessarily want to do user form click. We do want to do initialize. And basically when you're running when you're running a form, initialize runs before that form actually runs. So what we want to do here is we're going to go application This is going to be application on time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do now. Now basically what on time does is it says that we're in at some point in the future we're going to run another event. So what we're going to do is we're going to go now plus, which basically what that's going to do is that's going to return whatever the time is now plus time serial. And time serial just gives you an hour, so I'm going to go, it's going to be zero hours, zero minutes. We're going to do two seconds. Okay. Now we're going to run a procedure as a string. We're going to call this kill form, and we're actually going to go build this right afterwards. So kill underscore form. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go copy. I'm going to copy that right there. So now we've got our user form set up. If I, if I close this window, it's going to show us that form. Now what we need to do is we need to do create a module. So this module we're going to call this sub auto underscore open. Okay. What this is going to do is it's basically when the workbook opens, it's going to run this. So what we're going to do is we're going to go splash form dot show. And that should work. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do sub. Remember we did kill form. Okay, we're going to go splash form dot unload. Actually we're going to do unload first. Okay. Now what we're going to what that does, I'm going to walk you through that. We're going to go ahead and save um, save this book and then we'll just walk you through basically what happens. So the big thing here is we're going to hit on this auto open, we're going to hit F8. It's going to show, oh, we got an error. Probably because I spilled, oh, splash, it's because I spelled it wrong. That's funny. So now that that, I, I thought that that might be the case because it wasn't, um, it wasn't capitalizing that. Now you'll notice I could have actually went in and changed that from splash from to splash form. Um, I'm just for simplicity's sake, we're going to go ahead and just walk through this. So it's going to go ahead and run this. It's going to give us one thousand two. Notice that thousand two it called kill form, and then it's going to unload and it's going to end sub and it's going to end sub and it's going to be gone. Okay, so that basically runs that real quick. Kind of gives you a, a heads up on how that's going to work. So what we want to do.
So we want to go back here. We're going to save as. Save it in our Dropbox folder. Now we need to make sure that it's macro enabled. Okay, so that's now saved. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close this. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to just show you real quick what that does. It opens it up for two seconds, the splash screen is gone, and you're into your workbook. That is a phenomenal way to show off. It's a great way to keep your name in front of your client. Uh, it's just a quick little splash screen. Hope you enjoyed this challenge. Use that a lot because it's a great way to build your brand. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks again for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Everyday VBA YouTube channel. Please join the VBA community at everydayvba.com. And most importantly, learn VBA.